G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I want to talk to you about floral street perfumes. So I ended up picking up this little five pack. I'll give you a little squeeze. This little five pack of floral street fragrances. Right here. And I'm gonna try one every day for five days and I wanna let you know how I go with these. So anyone who doesn't watch my videos, um, you wouldn't know that I actually have quite a um, high sensitivity and um, I get headaches a lot from fragrances and I'm also not really into florals. But I picked this up because uh, it has sunflower pop in it and a few YouTubers have been talking about sunflower pop and they said that it was sort of like a citrusy vibe and that that's what I want and so I found it really interesting that a citrus perfume was being made by a brand called Floral Street so I am really really excited and I am going to check in with you for the next five days uh, trying one of these on letting you know what my initial um, feel is and um, and whether or not it gives me an instant headache and then maybe following it up a little bit later to let you know whether I can still smell the fragrance on me maybe what even other people have said and um, and yeah and see where we go from there so I am looking forward to this and if you're interested in that then stay tuned and um, let's get started welcome back guys all right, as I said, one of the main reasons why I picked this up was because it has sunflower pop in it. Now, we'll let you know that we have Wonderland Peony, Sunflower Pop, Electric Rhubarb, Arizona Bloom, and Wild Vanilla Orchid. So that is exciting. I'm going to try one of these every single day and come back with you. Today, we are going to do Sunflower Pop. Now I know I don't have any of my makeup on, but I don't care right now. I am too excited for this. I could not wait. I didn't want to spend an hour putting on a full face of makeup for you guys, especially since I really don't wear makeup that often. And I, I'm going to be trying these every single day for the next five days. And I, you'll be right. All right, so let's get started. The first one I'm going to try is this Sunflower Pop. I probably should give you a little bit more information about this. All right, so I am on, I can't even pronounce it. I'm on a website that tells you a little bit more about the information, all right? Uh, I'll put it up on the screen here. Right, so, uh, Sunflower Pop by Floral Street. Its main accords are citrus, fruity, sweet, tropical, fresh, floral, vanilla, musky, fresh, spicy, and powdery. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> all right, so. The perfume rating has a 3.98% out of 5 with 188, 188 votes. The Sunflower Pop by Floral Street is a floral, fruity, gourmand fragrance for women and men. This is a new fragrance, apparently. Don't quote me there. Uh, I'm reading off something here. which I, It was launched in 2021. Oh yeah, it's not too old. Uh, the top notes are passion fruit. Uh, passion fruit, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. Middle notes are bellini, plum, blossom, and orris. Base notes are musky, honey, and amber. I have to say that I do know that I do love citrus, and I do know that I love a little bit of plum scent in my fragrances. I don't know... Oh, yeah, I do like a little bit of um, musk as well. I reckon I might actually like this. The question is, am I going to be able to handle it without having a headache? I don't know. But I am definitely, definitely excited for this. Let's give it a go. All right. We're just going to go straight in. We're not going to go on the hand. We're going to go on the... Ready? All right. So the first thing I'm smelling right now is mandarin, definitely mandarin. Hmm, I might actually spray it on my hand as well. That's lovely. I can I can definitely smell mandarin. I feel like I smell something white in it. N not not like a white floral, but hmm, it definitely has 
like the teensiest bit of floral smell in it. But it's so fresh. I actually I just got a little bit of that musk. It's not too dominant. It feels like it's um changing on me as it sort of sinks in. I don't know if I smell too much passion fruit though. But I'd, like that's exactly what I sort of expected. Like um I guess I sort of expected like Bam orange and passion fruit, like a marriage of, and I don't even know what that would smell like to be honest, but like I like the smell of passion fruit and I love citrus, so. Mmm, that's lovely. Like that's, that's really fresh. Um, not too obnoxious, like if I was stuck in an elevator with someone wearing this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel like I needed to get out like right now. That's nice. I like that. That's definitely not what I expected, but uh, I like it. I really do. I'm not. I'm not getting the pain right here that I normally would from like a um, a floral, or even like a strong sort of perfume. Um, but this is nice. I like it. It's settling down quite nice as well. I don't smell um, honey, and I don't feel like. I don't feel like I can smell amber either. Maybe that might sort of come in just a little bit later. Yeah, it's quite lovely, quite lovely. I will come back either later or uh, in my next check-in, maybe um, when I'm going to be trying one of these other ones here, and I will let you know my overall thoughts about Sunflower Pop. And uh, yeah, it's really, really exciting. I really, really like this one. Yeah, really didn't expect that. Yeah, that's nice. I really like that. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, update, guys. I know I'm a mess. I'm so, I'm so tired. I don't even want to talk about that. So I wore it all day, the Sunflower Pop. I wore that all day. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. The scent lasted all day. But here's the interesting part, right? So you can definitely smell a lot of notes, like... There's, you can smell all the layers, but it's different. I can't explain it. I definitely got that citrus sort of smell, but to be honest with you, it's, I wanted more. Um, and I did get a faint hint of the, uh, the passion fruit, but nowhere near as much as I wanted. So basically, if I smelt my hand where I sprayed it, like if I, uh, close up to the skin, I could smell that sort of plum citrus. For real, um, it was it was gorgeous, but <clears throat> it did it did sort of remind me of a perfume that I've already got when I when I smelled it like that. But if I wasn't like sniffing my hand and and I was just sort of um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, don't mind the hair, and if I was just inhaling sort of like what I could smell wafting around, I could smell what I don't know it. I don't even know which ingredient it is um, from that list, but it, it smelt floral. Um, it smelt white floral, I want to say. And I think maybe that has something to do a little bit at least with the musk. Um, I don't know, but it wasn't, it wasn't so bad that I was completely turned off on it. Like, it's lovely, um, but it's not one that I would go out and spend a couple of hundred dollars on personally for my taste. What I expected, what I really wanted from this, and why I'm a little low-key um, disappointed, is I don't know if you guys have had that passion fruit soft drink. Um, I don't know if that's just an Australian thing or, or whatever. I'll see if I can find a photo of it and I'll stick it up. Um, but that's kind of like what I wanted. I wanted like this bam of passion fruit and citrus, like this summer um, tropical soda pop vibe. I don't know. Um, and I didn't get that. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's still lovely. Uh, headache, <clears throat> headache. Right. So I did start to get a slight bit of pain right here at about the 
five hour mark, I want to say, wasn't bad enough that I needed to go and lay down. I didn't need a heat pack. I didn't even take any medication for it. It went away on its own. So that's okay. But that is sort of like a bit of a warning for me that this perfume is not the one for me. It could cause um, me to have some serious headaches in the future, especially if there's other factors. Um, like if I was already sort of a little bit, um, you know, under the weather or whatever. So there's that. But I do have to say it is a lovely fragrance, but it, it definitely does have like a floral element to it. I'm just not sure what's making that floral, um, scent. I, I, I don't know. Um, I have to look into it a bit, a bit more. It could be the, um, what is it? Bergamot? I don't know. I can't quite remember all of the ingredients, but it's lovely. It's just not the right one for me. Now, I do want to remind you guys, um, or for those who don't actually know, I'm really hyper fussy. Like, you, I could probably smell a thousand, um, perfumes and I would probably only like maybe half a dozen. Like, I am very, very particular on, on what I want and not just because of the scent, but because of how it affects my body and, um, and also how it wears, you know? Um, so yeah. I will um, come back tomorrow, uh, preferably using my um, normal camera. This is my phone, guys, so if you can tell the shitty quality, um, excuse that. I will come back tomorrow and we will try the first one. I actually can't remember which one it is, but you'll find out very soon. All right, see you soon. All right, guys, day two. Day two of Floral Street Perfumes. And today we are going to try on the Wonderland Peony. So, um, this could be interesting. As I said previously, I'm not really into florals. So the fact that I've got five perfumes from a brand called Floral Street, I don't know, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean to say that I'm not going to like any of these, but let's get into it. So I'm not going to randomly spray it in the air because if I spray it in the air and I think that I might not like it, it might be completely different on my skin. That's what I find anyway. So let's have a bit of a chat about this one. So this one, the main accords are fruity, floral, fresh, sweet, woody, tropical, rose, powdery, caramel, vanilla. Now, I tend to find that anything that has like rose and, um, and powdery sort of like musky sort of thing I generally smell like the floral aspect um, at least I did I think like with the um, sunflower pop I could still smell some sort of floral type thing and that's not usually my jam but that's okay all right so let's read a bit about it it has a perfume rating of 3.95 out of 5 with 381 votes um, Wonderland Peony by Floral Street is a floral fragrance for women and men. Wonderland Peony was launched in 2017. Alright, cool. The nose behind this fragrance is Jerome Epinet. E Epinet. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not good with names, okay? The top notes are guava, red berries, Sicilian lemon. The middle notes are raspberry bloom, peony, and violet. And the base notes are cotton candy, vanilla, Resins, woody notes, and cedar and vetiva. There's some things in there that sound absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm a little bit excited to try this. And there goes my phone again. You would think after all this time that I would know to put it on mute. Anyway, I it's got citrus in it again with the Sicilian lemon. It's got berries, so I, I really do like that berries. It's got raspberry too. Oh my... All right, and I do like me a little bit of woody tones. It's got that cotton candy in there, so it's going to be a little bit sweet. But with that cedar, I think that might sort of balance it out a bit. I am concerned about the vanilla. Uh, I am concerned about the strength of the violet and the peony. Um, but other than that, I reckon we give it a good go. I'm going to do the same thing as I did yesterday. I'm going to do two squirts on my neck. I'm going to do one on my hand. So I can sort of smell what it's going to be like if it's just sort of wafting around me. But then I can also smell like up close, like as if, you know, your significant other is sort of like smelling your neck or something when he's coming in for a kiss or she, whatever, I don't judge. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. Let's give this a little bit of a spray and then I'll be back with a recap whether it is later on today or if anything happens, like if I end up breaking out with a massive headache or something like that. Anyway, let's go. Two sprays here. 
one on the hand, give it a bit of a shake. Mmm. The first thing I smell is something a little bit peppery. Mmm. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is, but I like it. I think I like it. What could that be? Hang on, let's just pull up those notes again. Mmm. I think I'm, I'm smelling the cedar. I'm definitely smelling the woody scents. I like that. I really do. Let me see up close. Oh, yeah. I can smell those woody notes. That is delicious. Mmm. Um, I can, yep. It's definitely got that sort of powdery sort of note to it up close. Slight hint of citrus, not like bam in your face citrus, but you can definitely tell that it's there. What is that? What is that that I'm smelling? It's peppery. Could that be the red berries maybe? I don't know what red berries smell like. Um, I don't think I can smell the raspberry. Um, and yeah, it does have that element of floral to it again, but I'm not getting that white floral that generally gives me a headache. So that's interesting. I like this. I really do, at least right now. Um, I am feeling a little bit of something right here, which is, mm, we'll see how that goes over the day. Um, but yeah, mm, I like it. It's definitely, it's got a bit of sweetness too. Uh, I like that. I think that I'm, I'm rather fond of the sort of sweet, the citrus, the sweet, the woody. I really like this. I like this better than the sunflower pop already. So there's that. All right. I'm going to check back in with you guys a little bit later, let you know how I go, but right now, this one's a winner. I wouldn't be mad right now if this one was brought for me, I'd definitely wear this one. Alright, I'll see you soon. Alright, so, sorry about the terrible lighting, it is night time, um, and obviously I'm not in my studio. <clears throat> so, right, recap on, what did I, it was Peony, what, Wonderland Peony is it called? Hang on. Uh, yeah, Wonderland Peony. So, when I initially sprayed this on, I could smell something kind of peppery. And I thought maybe it might have been the, um, the red berries. But now I'm actually wondering whether that was the, uh, resin. Um, because I think, um, the resin has a bit of a spicy kind of scent to it. Um, I don't know. But uh, I will say that this one um, sort of fades down, uh, I don't know, the scent throw, I guess, uh, when it's on your body isn't as strong as the sunflower pop. So, um, yeah, sunflower pop. So the sunflower pop, when I was just sitting there, I would get random wafts of the perfume for a good six to eight hours, I found. But with this one... Um, I don't know, like after about an hour, I couldn't really sort of um, scent it on myself anymore unless I sniffed the back of my hand. And <clears throat> I like the way that this settles down. So this one's more of a, um, I guess, up close and personal sort of like within um, half a meter, I guess, of a scent throw. So something that can be sort of like, um, I guess signature uh perfume where um only the people that i guess that you're most intimate with will sort of benefit from it i guess um i don't know but it's definitely lovely uh i can smell the um was it the yeah you, you can smell a little bit of the um uh what is it peonies i don't even know if i say that right uh and the violet um i really 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 like this one it's a little bit sweet it's a little bit soft um and that a uh, little bit of pain that I was getting in the beginning that I thought might turn into a headache went away and um, I've been able to wear this all day and it might be because the scent uh, as I said isn't so like bam in your face constantly wafting up um so yeah I don't think necessarily this is one of these ones that you're going to smell from like across the other side of the room, um, which for me, that's perfectly fine. I, I'm i the kind of person who, like, I don't know, I like the, 
I like the scent to be more so contained within me or within arm's length, I guess. Um, I don't want um, people turning their heads from two metres away trying to figure out what is that smell. I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Um, I just want to know that um, I smell nice and, um, hmm, I don't know. I just, I like it. I really, really do. Um, so far out of the two, it is definitely my favourite so far. Um, would I go out and buy it? No, uh, not myself. Uh, that's what I mean. When I said earlier that, you know, we could try a thousand um, perfumes and I'll only like six. What I mean by that is that I could probably like a lot more, like, like a lot more, but I could, it would probably only be like six that I would love so much that I'd be willing to throw a couple of hundred down and buy myself a bottle. Um, <clears throat> so this is one of those scents where if it was given to me as a birthday present or something like that, I would definitely wear it. Um, <clears throat> but it wouldn't be my everyday, I guess, signature scent. It's very nice. I think it's, I think it's beautiful. And, um, yeah, there's not much else that I can say. Uh, I loved the woody tones that came through this and stayed all the way through this. It's just a really, really lovely, lovely one. And it, it's less floral, in my opinion, than the Sunflower Pop. So there's that. I will be back very soon uh, with um, tomorrow's. What are we going to do tomorrow? So I'm going to go in order. Like, I didn't start in order. Um, Sunflower Pop was number two. And um, Wonderland Peony was number one. But we're going to keep going in order. So we've done Wonderland Peony. We've done Sun Sunflower Pop. The next one in line is electric rhubarb. So I'll be back with, I guess, a different outfit, different hair, maybe some makeup, maybe not. I don't know, but I'll see you in a minute. Morning. It's not yet a good morning. I haven't finished my coffee. No, I'm definitely not a morning person. I'm sure you can see that by my eyes or my demeanor. I'm not a horrible person in the morning. I'm just like so sleepy. I don't sleep well, guys. I really don't. Excuse me for a minute. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Hello, Mr. Hair. Do you guys like coffee? I don't know about you. I love coffee, right? But I can't stand coffee shop coffees. It's just every time I go in there, it's either burnt or it's too milky. Mm. I just love me some good homemade French Makona. Pretty simple. <laughs> anyway, that's not why you're here. Let's get into it. Mm. All right, so we have already done Sunflower Pop. We have already done Wonderland Peony. Today we are doing Electric rhubarb. You know, I don't even know what rhubarb smells like, guys. <laughs> Everyone always talks about rhubarb pie. I've never had it, and it sounds gross. Loki. Anyway, here we are. We have electric rhubarb. This is number three in the pack, and there are two more to go after this. So let's have a little bit of a read. All right, so. His main accords are marine, white floral. Oof. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I have some perfumes with some white floral in it, but... Right. Aromatic, salty, green, fruity, powdery, woody, floral, and aquatic. I'm a little concerned. All right, let's give it a read. So, Electric Rhubarb by Floral Street is an aromatic fragrance for women and men. This is a new fragrance. Electric Rhubarb was launched in 2020. The top notes are rhubarb and white flowers. Middle notes are sea salt, gardenia, frangipani, and jasmine sandback. Base notes are sandalwood and powdery notes. I'm worried, actually. Um, this is very heavy on the floral, um, the white flowers, the gardenia, the frangipani, the jasmine. I love jasmine, I freaking love it, but it tends to give me a headache. 
Uh, all right, well, whatever. So we're just going to go straight into it. You know the drill. I'm going to spray my neck twice. I'm going to spray my wrist. I'm going to have a little sniff. And um, I'm going to let you know how I go. All right, let's do this. I'm going to get my hoodie out of the way because I am not ready to face the day. And my hair. All right. When it comes out. One, two, oh, missed it, three. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a strong one. First initial response is nice. Definitely floral. Um, mm, I can smell the jasmine. And I can smell the gardenia. I can definitely smell the frangipani. Mm. Look. Don't hate flowers. Really don't. Love the smell of flowers. I just don't like to smell like flowers myself. Mm. It's very lovely. I have to say, it, it is, it's lovely, but it's not, it's definitely not me. Like, yeah. I am already starting to get a little bit of um, sensitivity up here. I can feel it. It's tightening a little bit. Yeah, that's so floral. That, but you know what? Actually, it smells... I just smelled something that reminds me of my laundry detergent. Not my laundry detergent, my, my fabric softener. That... I... Ooh, I think that might... That might have to be the Jasmine, because I tend to buy that, um, that fluffy brand, Jasmine. Look, this is really, really lovely. Um, if I owned this and I could get away with wearing it, I really, really, really loved this. I'd wear this in spring. Yeah, definitely spring. Probably only in spring, to be honest with you. It's not quite there for me in the, um, the fresh sort of summer. It's too light and airy for winter and autumn. I would definitely wear this in spring. Isn't that funny how some scents would just work better? in some seasons. Mm. I'm smelling a little bit of wood as well, just, just the slightest bit, nowhere near as much as the um, as the Wonderland Peony. Um, but yeah, not bad. Um, you definitely can smell that slight bit of powderiness as well, that little bit of musky, powdery. That's, it just makes it smooth, it makes it soft. Um, but yeah, it's definitely lovely. It's just, it's definitely not for me. Um, but I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day, see how it goes, see how it wears, see what the scent throw is like, if anybody picks up that I'm wearing it, um, any comments, anything like that. And hopefully I'll look a little bit better than this when I check in with you later. Maybe not. I've been so tired lately, guys. I don't know what is wrong with me. Look, it's probably because we're in winter and... I get seasonal winter depression, so it's probably got a lot to do with that. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I'll be back soon. All right, so electric rhubarb. When I first sprayed it on myself, I'm like, eh, I don't know. It's okay. Kind of smelled like my, um, my fabric softener. But something happened. This went to being my third like out of the five so far, this dropped to my third, right? My least favorite so far. Um, but about an hour later, it transformed on my skin. And when I tell you that it turned into like this sexy, spicy, masculine kind of scent that I just couldn't, I just couldn't stop sniffing. Mmm, my God. All right, so I don't know how to explain this. Um, the initial spray on is completely different to what it settles down on my skin. Obviously, we've established that. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. It's kind it's, look, it still kind of smells a little bit like, um, my fabric softener, like that, um, that clean linen kind of fabric softener. I can still smell, uh, like a little bit of jasmine in there, but there's something masculine in there, something... So I uh, look out of the I couldn't see a male wearing 
the other two that I tried, um, Sunflower Pop and um, Wonderland Peony, no way, right? Um, but this one here, like once it hits the skin and, I don't know, your body warms it up or whatever. Mm, mm-hmm, yeah. It's, it's, it's soft masculine. Um, so it's, it's, look, it's still very feminine, but it's got like that, that hint of masculinity to it. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's delightful. It is now my favorite out of the five so far, um, which I think is very, very interesting. My partner doesn't like it. That's okay. Cause I'm not going to buy it anyway, because like I said, it's not, it's not one of my like the scents that I would personally like for like my signature scent, but it is very, very nice. And I'm very surprised, I have to say. Um, yeah, now the scent throw. All right, so um, kind of like the Wonderland Peony, um, I'm, not, I'm not smelling it like wafting um, around the room like the Sunflower Pop did, um, but I am like, it's kind of like arm's reach kind of uh, smell. Another one of those ones that are, you know, up close and sort of hmm, to you. Like somebody gets close to you and they're like, they can smell something. They don't know what it is and they'd have to get closer to realize it's you. Yeah. It's a beautiful scent, this one. And um, another one that I would be very, very happy to own, but I wouldn't go out and buy myself. Now, Hopefully, can you see me in my focus? I have no idea what happened uh, to my last um, recording. No idea whatsoever. But hopefully, it looks like that I've picked up in the um, in the viewfinder. I'm not so blurry. Uh, the lighting is bad. I'm sorry. I'm obviously not in my room. Tomorrow, we're going to do the fourth one. And I'm sorry, but I can't remember what it is. And I'll check back with you then. Um, if you want to know what's on my face, I've just been playing around. Uh, don't worry about the lipstick. I'm sort of, I'm trying something new to me and it, <laughs> it was wonderful when I put it on like thick, juicy, um, plump, great. But, uh, I've since eaten and drunk and, uh, she's, she's come off. I've now got like a uh, lip liner lips. So anyway, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. See you then. All right. Day four, perfume number four. Still not awake, sure you can tell, but I got my coffee. So, in my little R2-D2 mug. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. All right, so today we're going to do Arizona Bloom. Let's just get stuck into it. We have it right here. Let's talk about the notes. All right, so here we go, Arizona Bloom. Arizona. Arizona Bloom by Floral Street. The main accords are coconut, musky, woody, sweet, salty, amber, lactonic, I'm not sure what that is, green, powdery, and vanilla. This could go a few ways for me, actually. I don't really like coconut scent in things. I like the smell of coconut, but like fresh coconut. I don't mind musky, um, I love woody, I love sweet, I don't mind salty, I love amber. Um, I don't know what lactonic is. Powdery and vanilla, that's kind of go, it'll go hand in hand with the musky. So like I, I'm probably not going to be able to sort of differentiate the two there, or the three actually. It says, Arizona Bloom by Floral Street is an amber spicy fragrance for women and men. Again, this is a new fragrance. Arizona Bloom was launched in 2020, so it's not too old. The nose behind this fragrance is Jerome Epinet. My gosh. All right. So um, the fragrance notes are coconut, salt, musk, cashmere wood, fig leaf, amber, jasmine, black pepper, and oak moss. I love that it's got the amber in it. Um... The jasmine as well, I like that, but like I said, the jasmine might give me a little bit of a headache. Um, so the amber is probably where you're going to get a little bit of that spice, plus obviously the black pepper. Um, the cashmere wood, mmm. You know what? Let's just shut up. Let's just spray it. Two sprays to the neck, one to the wrist, and we'll go from there. Here we go. That wasn't a good one. One, two. All right. Mm. Okay. 
instantly straight away I'm smelling something something spicy again hmm what is that I know I say that every time don't I hmm hmm that smells really nice like I'm I'm not able to really differentiate what I'm smelling here I think I'm smelling the cashmere wood um, that saltiness I'm not I'm not yet smelling coconut I can't smell that yet so that's good I can't smell the jasmine um, I think I'm smelling fig leaf mmm it is definitely peppery um, it's kind of I don't know how to explain this like um yeah, kind of like a, yeah, peppery garden. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely. It's not my cup of tea, at least not yet. We didn't think that with the last one either. When I first sprayed it on, I'm like, yeah, nah. And then later I was like, nah, yeah. <laughs> um, this one's definitely different. If I just sprayed this one randomly in store, I'd be like, pass. Um, but then, like I said, Yesterday's one I would have as well and um, with some of the recommendations of the sunflower pop like okay so Here's the thing. I mean, I can tell you what they smell like but sometimes when you put them on yourself <clears throat> My voice is not activating properly today or when you put them on yourself they change like for example um, sunflower pop um, cat from Beauty News she got it and One of the reasons why I wanted to try it is because when she sprays it on herself she smells passion fruit and citrus which is like what I wanted right and I don't get that I get plum and a little bit of citrus um so yeah devo there um and that's what I mean like the way my body sort of I don't know um works with the fragrances could be a little bit different to yours but yeah mm. Mm. this one smells quite sophisticated um I'm not sure what the scent throw is going to be like but um yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting any of the pain that I had here with either of the first three. Now, keeping in mind, I didn't get a headache um, from any of the first three. Like, not really. I had like a um, a slight bit of discomfort with one of them, um, but nothing to write home about. Uh, so that was good. And this one, I'm not even like, I can still faintly smell it on me, but um, I'm not getting that sort of warning sign that anything bad is going to come out of this one, so, hmm, quite lovely, just not my cup of tea. I'll be back a little bit later with a recap. All right, so this is another interesting one. So, when I sprayed this one on, much like the last one, the electric rhubarb, um, it had this kind of peppery kind of element to it. I wasn't entirely sure what I was smelling, but it did smell very feminine with like a spice to it, right? And um, much like the uh, electric rhubarb, um, it, about an hour later, I don't know, it sort of like changed on my skin and it became kind of masculine and it became a little more masculine than the electric rhubarb and like <laughs> I actually sprayed some more on the back of my hand so I didn't have to awkwardly you know sniff it there I could just go <sighs> um so look I I want to say that this once it settled down um could definitely be a unisex uh, scent the thing is is it's so weird because it's so feminine when you first put it on and then so masculine once it sets down I'm sure there's a market for that um, yeah I'm not that market but uh, I think it is it is very lovely very complicated I guess very sophisticated um, now it did remind me a little bit of, um, on the settle down, of the Antonio Banderas Black Seduction. And I think that's why I was obsessed with it. The smell. But, um, while I could smell it wafting around, like the sunflower pop, um, it kind of went away fast. So, I can't really smell it on the back of my wrist. Um, the spray that I did on my um, hand was probably about two hours after that um it's only been oh geez 
five. No, I don't know. It's 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 been a whole day, but like there's, it's almost like it doesn't exist anymore. Um, so it is the fastest fading scent on my skin, at least, um, out of the five scents so far, or the four that I've tried. Uh, beautiful though. So Floral Street is really, um, it's on my radar now. It's on my radar because of a few things, right? I never thought that I would enjoy anything from a brand that has floral in its name, okay? So not only that, um, I, I've had the threat of a headache with some of these things, but it was very, very temporary. I, you know, most um, perfumes, I'll just spray it in the air and then instantly, bam, straight up headache. And I'm not having that with this brand. So that's interesting. Um, I want to look more into it. I know they have more fragrances than, well, I believe they do. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. I got to check, but I'm pretty sure they have more scents than the five that I'm um, I'm currently testing out. And I want to see if they have something maybe just a little bit more citrus than um, any of the ones that I'm trying out. Because uh, I'll be definitely interested. Definitely interested. I'm not having the bad reaction. I'm liking what I'm smelling so far, even though a lot of these do have that sort of floral element to it. Uh, that's the other thing too, the muskiness. I reckon that's what I was getting, um, the sort of masculine musk. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, like a, a buff shirtless bloke out in the Aussie bush somewhere with that sort of peppery smell, sweating just a little bit. I, you get me? Um, so yeah, pleasant experience. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard because I don't like the initial smell that much, but the set down definitely worth it. But then also, it doesn't last long enough for me. I'd much rather go and spray myself or spray my partner with the Antonio Banderas one. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Um, yeah, we have one left. One left, and I can't remember the name of it, but I feel like that this one's got vanilla in it. That concerns me. Some vanilla can really make me feel sick. So we'll see. I'll see you in the morning, guys. All right, guys, last day, last scent. Who's excited? Well, I've been pleasantly surprised with some of these scents. Um, actually, pretty much blown away, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I'm excited. Let's just get started. So... Let's actually read this. This is, what scent are we going to be doing? This is the last one. Um, this is the Wild Vanilla Orchid. So, the main scents are, well the main accords, are vanilla, woody, floral, powdery, aromatic, soft spicy, fresh, sweet, fruity and green. Wow, they nearly got it all in there, didn't they? All right, well, this looks pretty interesting. Let's have a bit of a read. Wild Vanilla Orchid by Floral Street is an amber floral fragrance for women and men. Wild Vanilla Orchid was launched in 2017. The nose behind this fragrance is Jerome Epinet. Jeez, why can't I say his name? Anyway, the top notes are vanilla flower, cassis, and... Citrus. Um, the middle notes are flowers and bamboo and jasmine and the base notes are vanilla bean, sandalwood, orchid and patchouli. Let's just get stuck into it. Once again, we are going to do two sprays to the neck, one to the back of the wrist and I'm actually going to put one on the back of my hand so it's not awkward for me to sniff it all day. <laughs> Alright, let's go. One, two, three. Mmm, I'm smelling something really lovely. Something really fresh. I am smelling flowers. Did I say jasmine? Because it smells like ja Yeah, jasmine. I'm smelling the jasmine. There you go. Middle notes, jasmine. I like. Yeah, this is really fresh. I'm going to sneeze though. Okay, hang on. Woo! All right, that's from the scent. Oh my gosh. Um... I really like this. I wonder if it's going to sort of settle down smelling like this. This is lovely. Mm. 
Mm, yes. Um, there's something in there. Yeah, the orchid. I can definitely smell the orchid. This is beautiful. I can smell the vanilla bean. I can. Um, not giving me a headache yet. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah. I, look, I don't know. I can smell a little bit of citrus, but it's it's very smooth. Um, and I think I'm going to sneeze again. Sometimes fragrances can do this to me until it settles down a little bit. I do apologize. As I said, I have a very sensitive sinus. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We're probably just going to get me sneezing. <sighs> no, it's coming. It wants to. Oh, my mouth is... Wow. Okay. I really like this, guys. Um, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I don't know how to explain it. I can smell so many different elements. Um, I can definitely smell the jasmine. I can definitely smell the um, the uh, orchid. Um, yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Could it be my signature scent? I don't know. You know, you just kind of feel like that you just know. You just instantly know when something is like 100% you. This is beautiful, but I don't think that's it. Yeah, because like I could wear this definitely. I would wear this. Depending on the settle down a little bit later, I would probably, right, right at this moment, not including the settle down, right now if I smelled this in store um, and I didn't have really time to think about it, I, I would buy it. Not necessarily for like my everyday scent, but beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is floral. It is. But it's not pot puree floral. It's not rose floral. I don't know how to explain it. It's beautiful. Smells a little bit musky too. Did it say that it had powdery notes or musky anywhere? I don't... Maybe that's just the vanilla bean. Um, let me just have a quick look up here. Yeah, no, it, its main accords did have powdery. Okay, that's what I'm getting there. Um, and it does... Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, no, look. I, I agree with this. Um, the vanilla, yes. The woody, yes. The floral, definitely. The powdery. Aromatic, I mean, probably, yes. Yeah. So I can I can see the soft spicy. I'm not see, but I can smell the soft spicy. It's definitely sweet. It says fruity, but uh, that's not what I'm getting from this. Um, it's more floral than fruity. Um, yeah, and, and green. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's hard because it does have kind of like a hint of fruity but but not enough not enough that I would say that it's you know fruity it, it, it definitely is more of a floral but it, it's uh, it's hard to explain it's more of a musky floral I don't know how to explain it other than that anyway I'm going to come back to you later and uh, let you know my thoughts about this one and wrap up the entire video and maybe even uh, let you know uh, which one's my favorite out of all of those I'll see you soon all right, so we are back with the last scent for the week and the recap. Now, my children are home, so it's probably going to be laughing or something in the background. All right. I am very excited. I'm also very, very surprised. So let's talk about this last scent, the Wild Vanilla Orchid. That is what I'm wearing at the moment. And um, this one, unlike the other ones, I keep going to smell it. <sighs> i got to say, look. They are all lovely scents, but for their own reasons. And this Wild Vanilla Orchid one, um, I gotta say, doesn't change when it's on the skin, which is good. Like, it's nice that it does, like some of these other ones, does this sneaky sort of shift. But to be honest with you, um, it's a little bit confusing and a little bit like, well, when you spray it, you're like, ah, and then it changes. And, I don't know, I don't know. But this one stays the same. This one I'm getting sort of like 
for the most part, because this is one of those ones where I can smell it just sort of randomly wafting around. Um, this could probably be smelled um, from a couple of meters away. It's got a very good scent throw. Um, this one I get sort of like a, look, I, I keep wanting to say musky. I mean, in a nutshell, that's what I'm smelling, like um, powdery, spicy, orchid, jasmine smooshed together. That's what I smell, at least on my skin. Um, that's also what I smell if I spray it on paper. So um, this particular one is the same on the body as it is on paper. Personally for me anyway, that's what I found. Um, I quite liked it. Uh, I wouldn't buy this one for myself. I think it's lovely. I think that um, you're gonna get bang for your buck because I can still definitely smell it on me. Uh, also hasn't given me a headache, which is two thumbs up right there. Can you hear him laughing? That's amazing, I love it. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the order that I think I love these in. It's so hard, like, because I really do like them all, um, but some more than others. So coming in at number one is Arizona Bloom. There is something so unique about this. So this is one of those ones that I told you that um, you spray it on and you smell something and then once it sets down, it smells a little bit different. This is that one that smells masculine. I actually sprayed them on paper as well so I can go back in and, and have an extra whiff. Oh my gosh. So it's, it's so unique. It's so unique. I would actually consider um, buying this one just because of the set down. But I think I also said in my video that or earlier in the video that um, it, it, the reason why I like it is it kind of reminds me of um, Antonio Bandera's um, Seduction in Black. Amazing scent. You have to smell that. I, it's a ma man's scent. I'm not sure if it's marketed as a men's scent, but I'm pretty sure it is. But to be honest with you, I could spray that on everything. My pillow, my partner, myself. I love it. And that's why I like this Arizona Bloom one. So definitely in first place for me. In second place is the Electric Rhubarb. This is beautiful. Um, I, can't, I can't sort of like explain it to you. Well, I think I already have earlier on in the video, but this is absolutely beautiful. Stunning bottle too. I love the bottle with this. But you know, it was so hard to choose between this one and uh, to be honest with you, Number three, which is Wonderland Peony. These two, I was like, oh, yeah, nah, this one, this one, this one, this one. I settled with Electric Rhubarb and then Wonderland Peony. There was just something that pulled uh, me more towards the Electric Rhubarb. Not sure what it is. The next one is the one that I'm actually trialing on today. In fourth place is the Wild Vanilla Orchid. Um, I like it um, probably a lot to do with the jasmine. I just didn't like it as much as I liked the other ones ahead of it, but still absolutely stunning, beautiful, sophisticated. I'm impressed. And it's funny because coming in fifth place, last place out of these five was the one that I thought that I was actually gonna like the most. Now in saying that it is not a bad scent. And the only reason why um, I'm placing it in last place is really because it didn't give me what I wanted from it. So on paper, I can smell the passion fruit um, and even a little bit more of that citrus, but on myself, I wasn't getting that. And um, and yeah, unfortunately, um, even, even without being able to smell the passion fruit and the citrus as much on my skin, out of these five fragrances, this one's my least favorite. Um, I would still definitely wear it if I owned it, but the other ones, they're just better. Um, they, there's, there's something special about it. So I am definitely pleasantly surprised with all of these perfumes. And if um, Floral Street do have more scents, I am definitely going to look into it. I love the idea of these little um, these little packets, this uh, five pack. Um, yeah, I might actually do that with some more perfumes. I was pleasantly surprised. And um, what can I say? If you've never tried Floral Street, maybe give it a go. Where did I get this guy from? Mecca. So I got this from Mecca. I'm not sure if you can get it from anywhere else. Um, yeah. <laughs> what else can I say, guys? I really do hope that you got something out of this. I know it's probably like nearly an hour long video, so I really do hope that I haven't droned on too much. Um, but I enjoyed every part of making this video and I hope that, like I said, you got something out of it. And if you did, 
I'd appreciate a thumbs up and uh, if not, maybe I'll see you in my next video. Bye.